and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. So today I thought that I would go ahead and show you my Playbook collection as well as my Lapin collection because I love them so much. I do collect lapel pins and sadly they're not widely available and they haven't really been bringing lapel pins to the tours of the plays that have been coming recently so that's kind of sad but I do have a number of them so I'm going to show you these and also all of the playbills that are in my playbill collection. Alright so I'm not going to go individually into each lapel pin because I have a lot of playbills but here is my lapel pin, most of my lapel pin collection. As you see I have a lot of the plays that I've been to. I also have a Slytherin head girl and I have some from the zoo and various other places, New Orleans. I love lapel pins. I have a few more that I just haven't put on here because I'm kind of running out of room and I need to put them in something else. But these are most of the lapel pins I own. I just love them. They're adorable and they are good collector things. So this is my binder. It doesn't fit too well completely in the screen, but I actually just recently decided to put everything in a binder. I used to have stuff in a like little photo album type thing all of my playbills or most of my playbills but I decided to transfer them into a binder I'm going to do another binder for like concert tickets and stuff so that'll be fun I do still have some plain just like loose leaf tickets that don't have playbills in that other binder so I'm not actually going to talk too much about those but this is what I have I do plan on decorating this cover and the side with like playbills and things but this is what I have for now. So I do have some just like plain tickets. Most of these are concerts. Welcome to Night Bill, I'll keep in here. Um, this is a Sweeney Todd performance. More concert tickets, more concert tickets. I do have some tickets that are play that are still in my other like picture album binder type thing. So I will put tickets such as my Rugrats ticket, which is like my first theater experience. I'll put that in here. I also have, I also have a ticket for the like the Adam and Jamie Mythbusters thing, which actually might be in here. Nope, more concerts. So I do have a couple other like play-ish type things that I don't necessarily have playbills for. So here is a playbill that I have from seeing Blast, which is Dance St. Louis. I actually prefer Blast to Stomp because Stomp, there are some parts in Stomp that are just really boring and both times that I've seen Stomp live, I've been put to sleep at the kind of slower parts, which I love Stomp, it's cool, but I think I prefer Blast. And I think a good reason why I prefer Blast is because it's mainly drum and bugle, which I play trumpet. And that was really fun for me. I don't have my ticket to it though. Here I have Cats, which is one of my favorite musicals. And I have two ticket stubs for it because it's both me and my mom. So a lot of these, if me and somebody else went where I have their tickets, for example, my parents, then I have multiple tickets. But Cats at the Fox, which is our main tour theater. This is from my birthday in 2002. Oh wow, I didn't realize that we went on my birthday. That's kind of awesome. Um, so yeah, for my birthday in 2002, and then I also have Phantom of the Opera. As you can see, I have both tickets in here, but the playbill is covering it. This is from my birthday in 2006. We actually went a couple of days after my birthday. Again, didn't realize we went on my birthday. That's kind of awesome. And then I have Stomp here, which again, I prefer Blast, but Stomp is a fun show. And then I also have Edward Scissorhands here, which is a lot of fun. Edward Scissorhands is a ballet. It is pure ballet. There's no words. So it was good. But if you're gonna go see the ballet of Edward Scissorhands, watch the movie first. Because had I not known the story already from the movie, I would have been completely lost. And then 12 Angry Men at a local theater here, which I don't have my ticket for. I actually went with a speech club to see this. And then The Lion King, which is fantastic. And I'm seeing it again next year. I, I'm so excited. We went back in 2007 and I have not seen it since. So 10 years later, I'm finally getting to see the show again. It is a beautiful show. If you ever have the chance to see a production of The Lion King on stage, definitely do. You will be pleased. And then here we have Dracula. It's another big one because again, it is at a, another somewhat local theater and I have my ticket there. That one was actually really fun to see. Honestly, I don't remember too much of it. I remember that I liked it though. And then I have the first time that I saw Rent in theaters. I've seen Rent a few times, love the show. This one was awesome because it is the closest I have ever been to the stage. For Rent, if you don't know, the stage, how they have it set up is there, the orchestra is actually on stage. 
So for the orchestra pit section, they actually, you know, raised the floor and put the floor up and actually put rows of seats where the orchestra pit would be and we were actually in row four so it's like not even a lettered row so we were before the actual rows of the theater started it was fantastic and awesome the only downside to seeing it then was the lady next to us kept singing and was so excited because some guy from american idol was in the cast like i don't even remember who because i'm not a big american idol watcher but she just would not shut up every time he came on stage so that was kind of obnoxious. If you're going to a show, please be respectful to the other people in your area and that you are sitting next to. And then we have here the Nutcracker, which I didn't enjoy at all. And then Wicked. This is the first time that I saw Wicked that we actually bought seats to, I believe. Wicked is a fun show. I thought that I had seen it more than I have. But according to what playbills I own and how many tickets I have for it, I haven't seen it as many times as I thought, which... I'm kind of excited about but it is a really fun show and then Mamma Mia which we went on my birthday back in 2008 so it kind of sucks that I'm seeing all these shows that I've actually seen on my birthday they don't really show many shows in June anymore which is kind of sad because I liked going to plays on my birthday but this was really fun we were in row A so the second closest that I've been and it was awesome at the end of the play everybody like stood up and danced and it was a really fun show to see this was actually a few days before the movie came out or maybe like a week before the movie came out so that was kind of fun being able to actually see the stage show before the movie came out and then Sweeney Todd which is one of my favorite movies I love Sweeney Todd I was so excited that the stage show was coming to St. Louis because it's just awesome. The music is awesome. How they do the stage show is incredible with like the special effects and stuff. It was a fun show. If you're a fan of the movie and you have a chance to see the stage production like at all, it's definitely worth it. And then we have here again another Cats and Phantom pairing. Honestly, I did not plan. This is completely by accident. It's kind of interesting to have Cats and Phantom be next to each other at two different points in here. But as you can see, they're definitely at different times because this is November of 2008 and this is October of 2009, which these are both great shows and I love them so much, especially Cats. I'm really excited that they are doing a reboot and I hope that they do a reboot of the tour and that it tours again because I will go see it again because it is that awesome. And then we have here Rent, and this ticket I have, actually the reason why this ticket isn't behind the playbill is because they are two different times. Um, for some reason I don't have two playbills, even though I saw these on two different days. So I just went ahead and put the ticket like in front of it. This one we bought tickets on my birthday, June 5th, and we stood at the stage door to try to get some autographs but then some girl was having an epilepsy attack, so most of the cast didn't come out the stage door, they went out other doors. So we decided to buy cheap seats up at the very top for the next day to actually go and sit at the stage door. So that was actually a really fun experience, getting to see it twice in a row. This was the last tour that they did for it. They are touring again. I don't know if I'm gonna go see it this time. Maybe. I don't currently have tickets for it and tickets aren't on sale to the general public, but it's not part of the season ticket package. So I don't know if I'm going to go see it again next year, this year, whenever it's coming or not. I might. We'll see how much tickets are. But it was really fun seeing this play in particular because a lot of the original cast came back to tour for the final tour which was awesome. And then I have White Christmas. White Christmas is one of my favorite movies. Love it. So excited whenever they had the White Christmas play. This is our parking pass from it. I do have other parking passes, but I don't have specifically with what play or thing that they went to. But since I had this one specifically with my White Christmas stuff, I put it in here. This one was a lot of fun because we actually saw it on Christmas Eve. Me and my dad, I got him tickets for Christmas because it is also one of his favorite movies. And the musical is pretty great. I really enjoyed it. I enjoy the movie better though. And then we have another stomp. And these tickets are actually a lot of fun because these tickets are not St. Louis tickets. So we saw Stomp in New York at the Opium Theater, which is their theater. It was pretty great being in their theater. It's kind of off-Broadway. I was hoping we would see a different show instead of Stomp, but our director, because it was a big band trip, decided that we were going to go see Stomp instead, instead, 
I was kind of disappointed because the last because the group of band students that he took to New York before us, which was four years before us, got to see The Lion King. So it was kind of a letdown. And just like with Stomp in St. Louis, I did fall asleep. We also saw Blue Man Group at Fair Theater. This is actually the Chicago Playbill. Okay, well, <laughs> this one's fun. I didn't notice this when I was putting it together. We saw Blue Man Group in Chicago at the Briar Street Theater. However, this is the ticket from Blue Man Group at the Astor Place Theater in New York City. Uh, I have seen Blue Man Group in both Chicago and New York. I think I saw them in Florida too, maybe, probably not. I definitely saw them when they came to St. Louis. I prefer seeing them in their own theater because they get to do more and they don't have somebody there singing when they play and go on tour and play like big big theaters, they have like somebody there singing and it wasn't as great as seeing it in their own theater. But yes, Blue Man Group in Chicago and in New York didn't realize that these weren't the same. I guess I don't have my ticket from the Chicago one and I don't know if they gave us a playbill for the New York one. I really don't know, but this is what I have. And then Phantom again, this I don't have a ticket for, but it is definitely a different playbill from my other two Phantom playbills, um, I think. I need to double check that, but I don't have a ticket for it, but I have a playbill. In fact, it might be, I want to say I've only seen Phantom twice. So that actually might be an extra playbill from one of the other two. I need to kind of compare and contrast, but it is an extra playbill. And then Lacage, which we also saw at the Fox. This was a really fun show. It, it, it was, hmm. this was a good show. I enjoyed it. I don't know if I would ever see it again. Um, this is based off of The Birdcage, the movie The Birdcage, which is a fantastic movie. I'm pretty sure that the movie came before the play. I could be wrong about that. But I also don't have my ticket for this. I don't know where it is. I really don't know because I keep everything together, so that's fun. I also have Elf the Musical at the Fox. I also don't have my ticket for that. Again, don't really know where it is, but it is a fantastic musical and I love Elf so much so much. And then I have Avenue Q, which I saw this with my mom, which she's not a big musical person, but she loved Avenue Q. It is hilarious. If you have a chance to see Avenue Q, pretty much if you have a chance to see almost any of these, go do it because they're fantastic. And then here are my other two Wicked's. I apparently have only seen Wicked twice. I thought I've seen it at least five times. If I have seen it, I mean three times rather. Um, I've seen it three times. I thought that I've seen it like five times but I haven't, so yeah, that's fun. Uh, if I have, I don't have the playbill or the tickets for them, but I have seen Wicked multiple times. And then this is a playbill for cats. I have it on like its actual thing because it's not an actual playbill. It's a program for the Muni, which doesn't have the actual show on the front of the program. It's, it's, it's something, but Ken Page was in this show Oh my goodness, I met him, I got his autograph. That playbill with his autograph in it is actually up in a cedar chest because autographs, if you do not know who Ken Page is, Ken Page voices Oogie Boogie in Nightmare Before Christmas. I did not know that when I met him. I figured it out after we met him, but I'm so glad to say that I have met Oogie Boogie and it is fantastic. He is really is a sweetheart. And then I have the Wizard of Oz, which I didn't really too care much for the Wizard of Oz. It was, it was okay. Adam's Family, which I did see with my mom on her birthday. It, this is a really fun show. This is one of my favorite shows. We, my mom even liked it. And she, like I said, she doesn't like musicals. And then I have Annie. I've seen Annie a few times. Um, I saw it at the Muni as well. I don't know why we don't have a program or something for the Muni one, but I was in Annie twice, so I do enjoy Annie. And then Kinky Boots, which is a really fun play, or musical rather, so much fun. I really enjoyed this show. And then I have Elf the Musical at the Peabody Opera House, which is another kind of touring theater that we have here in St. Louis. And I like this ticket, it's, it's pink. We saw this the day after Christmas. So the first one I saw like right before Christmas, this one was the day after, you know, a couple of years apart. And then the last two playbills that I have 
in my binder because I just that's the last two playbills I have are two of my favorite shows two of the last plays that are musicals that I have seen and that is Matilda and Newsies these are both fantastic the kids in them are great the dancing is great the music is great they are just wonderful shows and I'm so excited that they are filming the stage show of Newsies to come out into theaters next year so excited that so excited. I actually have this CD in my car and I've been listening to it a lot lately because I am obsessed with it. And that is it for my playbills. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to add to this. I have season tickets for the Fox this year, so there will be at least six more shows that get added between now and next summer. So that'll be fun. Hopefully I'll see some more shows too. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look into my playbills and kind of what mu musicals that I like. I'm really lucky to have a theater so close to me that actually gets Broadway shows on their tours, which is fantastic and amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. And then also add your every <laughs> This is the ticket from Blue Man Group at La Fuyfe. I hope you guys enjoyed this little this <laughs>